I think the first one that springs to mind would be uh, against Dipswich. It's quite a big derby doing here in the grand scheme of things. It's you know, it, there's nothing else really doing here apart from Fitba. So Norwich Ipswich is you know, yes. it's quite a, it's quite a big game. Um, and I, I can't remember exactly how many years it is, but there's no Ipswich have actually beat Norwich for a for a long, long time. Um, and we were they scored must have been eight eighth minute or something to go one nil up. So the uh, the usual centre halves, me and the other centre half went up front. And however this happened, I don't know, but ended up long ball that went out into the corner. The goal the goalies came out. I've raced them, got there first. Wow, he's that's kinda, impressive. He's panicked. Turned to try to get back to his goal. I've crossed it and other the other centre half seeded it in. We scored like ninety fifth minute or something. So for me personally, even though it wasn't a win, I think you know I'll, I'll always remember that one. But I think obviously last year getting promoted, there was uh, there was a couple of games when we obviously securing promotion at home to Blackburn. Yeah. Uh, no, you're going up when you're going to uh, the league as well. No, no, we're going up. Obviously celebrations after that, and then going to Villa at the last game of the season and getting a win and actually winning the league. Yeah. You know, I think that was. That it was, means uh, a lot more winning the league as well going up. I know exactly. Well, we we wanted that. We wanted that because we beat we, when we beat Blackburn. We obviously knew we were up, but yeah. you're thinking right, that's it, job done. But you know, our manager especially, there was there was no way that was it. We were going to you know come off the gas and relax. It was you know it was still full steam ahead, and it was still double sessions on a Wednesday, mm. gearing up towards we've got to win this league, and you know we did. And you know it's uh, I know you've probably had a few more than what I've had, but you know it's. Uh, <laughs> It's a good feeling, you know what it's like. It's you know, you win anything like that, it's you know, you want to have that sort of on your, your C V, as you yeah. say, but you no, know, I think those three games probably stick out in my mind more than any. To be fair, the Derby one's a good one as well, especially a wee late winner. Uh, goal for you used to bring it back to a draw as well and keeping that record going as well, that undefeated record. I know, well that's, that's what I mean. It actually if a game where we absolutely dominated and definitely should have won to lose in a late goal to Equalising late and obviously keeping that record going, it actually probably felt better than a win, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Even though it wasn't a win, and you want to win those kind of games, it was, uh, you know, to get a late goal. It was, you no, know, it was, and especially the fans, obviously, that meant a lot to them. Yeah, that, that, that's the main thing. They, they support you through thick and thin as well. And I, I've been down to Norwich. I know there's not too much to do, so uh, they always follow their club as well. And... No, it's not. It's unbelievable. The fans are unbelievable. It's, you know, it makes such a big difference. You know, playing somewhere where it's packed every week, and you know, the, you've always got the fans on side. You know, the fans are always backing the players, and um, you know, I, I must say that's one of the biggest things since I've came here that I've noticed. It's, you know, I think the, the club and the community and the fans all seem together, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a good, really good place to play. Most memorable game I've played in is probably the two-two with Rangers. I think we went down to ten men. Goalie got sent off. Uh, the gaffer was the manager, as it as he was back then, and uh, I can't remember what happened. We went down to ten men. I think it was Fraser get sent off, and somehow we've went down to ten men. We've played well. We've dug in deep. We're two one down. Twenty five minutes, thirty minutes to go, and we start controlling the game. We start to get a little bit more, especially going to Ibrox. Everyone knows what it's like as well, and. We've started to get that little bit of momentum going in, the ball's going in the box, it's coming back out, we're winning it again and we're getting to the, the ball all the time. And Somehow, I don't know how this happened, Mark Wilson goes down the right-hand side, chops back and for some weird reason, I've managed to make the edge of the 18-yard box. So Mark Wilson's played it back to me, I've chopped to my left foot and managed to curl it uh, past Griggsy and goal at the time. And, to be perfectly honest, my left foot's made for standing on Granty. You know what it's like. It's terrible. I'll, I'll, I'll back you up on that. Aye, I, I'm sure. made to run and pass. Give me the ball. Give it to the good players. Do your job well. <laughs> and uh, somehow it's went in the back of the net uh, in front of, what, 50,000 Rangers fans, uh, the Celtic fans behind the goal. I don't think they even believed that it went in the back of the net. And it was the time that celebration, me and Juf had a lot of uh, grief with each other over the, the year and a half and somehow he was standing at the right place at the right time managed to get the arms up and What was that like? It was it was weird because it was never planned obviously uh, it was just something what, Scoring a goal or celebrating? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie celebrations are not my strong point 
uh, as soon as it came back to me, I, for some weird reason, you just get in the back of your mind, you're going to hit this. And it's came to me, I've taken a good touch from the right foot, left, put it in the back of the net. And just as I've turned around, I've seen him and he was giving me grief the whole game. Like what, what you usually do against an opponent at the time. And I, I think played with him, I played with Jeff at Blackburn and he's non-stop. Yeah, he's he's... absolutely non-stop. If you can sign a player from us, who, who would you take, Granty? Uh, and you're not allowed to say me because obviously for my banter and my touch. <laughs> I wanted to see you actually, but I think I'll, it's got to be. I don't know. I, I, different angles to go at this year in terms of a player that I'd want in my team. Yeah. But there's also somebody I'd love to share a dressing room with me just to see what he's, see what he's got. It'd be Lee Griffiths. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> just because I've obviously spent a bit of time with him in, in Scotland squads and that and you know he's what a guy is he's top man isn't he he's, uh, oh, he's you know, a he'd, 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 he'd keep the boys going and we've got I mean we've got a really good dressing room the boys are uh, you know the boys are all together there's a great team spirit and that but in terms of sort of banter we might be lacking a wee bit yes. uh, there's no an awful lot Germans are pretty serious and ultra professional straight down the line yeah. There's a lot of young boys, you know, young boys are like, they just kind of go and do their own thing. A bit timid as well. Uh, 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 a wee bit quiet, but I think, we, I think if we had Griff involved, he would definitely br- bring a lot to the party. To be fair, but he'd bring decent amount of quality as well. On the well, exa- exactly, exactly. Now, he's, obviously, he's obviously a goal scorer, but obviously, I think player-wise, I'd, I'd probably have to go with Edward. Yeah, to be fair, he's, he's been he's, on the since he's came. He's phenomenal, isn't he? He's... Uh, you know, he's he's obviously his record and everything speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah, he's just rel- relentless no matter what he does. His, his touch, his quality. And I think a lot of people you know, didn't understand when we lost uh, Moose uh-huh. how good Odson was going to be. And I, mm-hmm. I think that's when the club's done really well, great business, going out, try to find a replacement, knowing Moose wanted to leave at the time. And you bring in like top quality as well. And you, you see what he does week in, week out. and. Mm-hmm. He's a t- his touch, his awareness for other people as well. And to be fair, him and Griff's been linking up really well together the last few games and they've been scoring a few goals. So I think that's something that I miss as well, seeing two strikers playing in a team. So it- it's been good that 